Okay, so I just got done reading the Death Note special one-shot by Sugumi Oba, of course, and the art is obviously by Takeshi Obata. Um, and I just gotta say, I, I, I couldn't help just... I couldn't help it. I was laughing at the end. I was just laughing. I was like almost crying, man. Like this is this is some special stuff. Like this is you don't get this kind of stuff every day. And this really is special considering it is Death Note and it's being carried on by the same creator. Um it's no surprise that this is so good. Um now a lot of people will argue about uh the design for the uh character um and his name is Tanaka Minoru. To my knowledge, there are a lot of people out there who have mixed opinions on this design, but I, for one, I, I love it. I really do. Um, now, moving along to the story, I mean, this is going to be a short review, so this is going to be a very, very short review because I don't normally do these, and this is honestly rare for me, but I just had to do it because, honestly, this was a very interesting read. For 88 pages, that was pretty damn good. Like, this was hella good. I, I suggest you stop watching this video. If you haven't even read the one shot yet, you have to go and see it. Like, go read it right now. I will leave a link in the description. Like, Death Note, the one shot. I, I really hope this gets picked up by Madhouse, even. Because this is some quality stuff. Like, this, you don't get to read this stuff every day. Like, it's, it's fire, man. Like, this is so good. Oh my god. So basically the story centers around a middle school student at the beginning of this one shot. His name is Minoru Tanaka. He is a top scorer. Of course he is insanely smart and what he does is absolutely phenomenal. Like I I just couldn't wrap my mind around it. As I was reading I was like no. No. No way. And I was just like oh my god this kid. This kid. What he does though like if you've read it all the way through, then you know, like, this is some... That that was some crazy stuff. Like, he, he had a serious plan. So, this kid is super smart. Middle school. Um, probably top ranked in all of Japan. No surprise. Pretty much similar to Light Yagami himself. Except Light Yagami was a high school student, to my knowledge. So, and, you know, if he was serious, he, he would go any, even further. Like, it, it's just nuts. So, of course, Ryuk. Ryuk's not done toying with the human race, obviously. He wants uh, more th interesting things to happen. And obviously he wants his apples as well. I mean, you can get them in the Shinigami world, but of course in the human world, they are far different. They're not shriveled up. They're far tastier. They're full of juice. You know, he wants that juice, you know what I'm saying? So he goes down to the human world and he locates a successor for Kira and comes across a middle school student and that is obviously Tanaka. Now, obviously, I'm not going to recap every single little thing that transpired in that one-shot manga. But I, what I am going to say is, this is absolutely brilliant. Because Tanaka, what happens is, you obviously know, this kid, he obtains the Death Note the first time. But then he tells Ryuk to leave after Ryuk explains everything to him. Um, he tells him to leave, and I'm like, okay. And then, but before he leaves, he tells him... I will reclaim the ownership of this Death Note uh, in two years' time. So, and he, he tells Ryuk to just step off for now, let him think about some things, and return two years later. Ryuk does just that. And honestly, I'm just baffled. I'm just mind blown at how good this kid is because he laid out some serious groundwork in two years' time. He knew what he was doing. Simply because he knew about L, he knew about the Japanese task force, he knew about everything because Ryuk explained every single little detail to him. And now we're in modern day because this takes place like, uh, I believe, 10 years later, if I'm not mistaken. So this kid, he he has knowledge about Kira. He, he knew because Kira's in the history books now. This is seriously no joke like Light. He left a serious impact on humanity uh, back when he was alive, and he's done some serious things like he stopped wars and all that, and we know this um, to a great extent. Uh, wars pretty much ended um, the idea of, you know, just violence. It, it, very, it shifted greatly um, when Kira was around, and, you know, things changed. Everything changed because Kira had the ability to change the world, and... That's exactly what Light was trying to do. Obviously, we know that Kira, uh, Light was trying to become God, and 
he tried to play the role of God by eliminating the scum of the earth, the criminals that laid waste to everything. Basically, Light was just cleaning up the world, um, but he was still basically looked at, uh, he was seen as a murderer. I mean, obviously to cops and all that, like, it's going to be seen as murder. Either way, it's going to be seen as murder, and they, they need to put a stop to it, because that's not how the system works. From their perspective, if you kill somebody, then you're obviously a murderer, and you deserve to go to jail. I mean, even though Light was doing them a favor by killing off criminals, that's, that's really not the way things worked. He was just killing off every single criminal that has done really bad things. He's just been writing them down one name after another. He's just been killing them off one by one. With, of course, the greatest weapon ever known to mankind, the Death Note itself, which nobody ever thought would be possible. But, I mean, even Light doubted it at first, but, you know, he decided to test it out before throwing the damn thing out the window. But in this one shot, okay, like this one shot, just I was so interested, like I was into it. My my eyes were just stuck to the screen the entire time. I could not get up like I, I, I had to go to the bathroom, but I just couldn't. I just had to read this thing through. Um, this was just crazy stuff. And it's not as serious as, you know, the original story, but this is definitely something. This hits different, as people would say these days. Um, what this kid does, Tanaka, he does something entirely different. He's using the Death Note, but he's not using it in the way you would have expected. I was expecting this kid to start killing people off. But of course, in modern day, there's a crazy amount of technology. Like, humankind has really developed technology now. And it's basically impossible to get away with certain things now. Like, most things, actually. So if you're doing something stupid on the internet, the cops will find you. Like, that's no surprise there. This is some serious stuff. So I'm like, how in the hell is this kid gonna use the Death Note if all of this is transpiring right now, like in modern day? But the thing is, he does not use the Death Note. He doesn't use it, period. He's only been touched by it, meaning that he cannot go to purgatory. I mean, you can only go to purgatory, or whatever they called it, the empty. Um, you can you, you go to purgatory, I'll just call it purgatory. You go there when you actually use the death note. When you actually write somebody's name down for the first time, you are basically sentenced. You are permanently going there. There is That's a one-way trip. You're not going to heaven. You're not going to hell. You are going to purgatory if you write a name in the death note. And of course, that's where Light is. That's where one or two other people are, I'm pretty sure. Like, that's that's where Light is. That's exactly where you're going if you're writing somebody's name down. And this kid, he does not write a single person's name. He doesn't even... He just, he just looks into the instructions, like, uh, the first time he gets a hold of it. Um, he looks at the instructions. He has a clear understanding. He does not kill a single person. This kid simply wants to do something else. And I'm just sitting there like, what? What on earth is this kid gonna do? Like, he's asking Ryu to come back in two years time. This kid had enough time to outsmart L himself. Which of course is Nier. Nier is still L. Nier is continuing as L. He hasn't stepped down. He is older now. Obviously with this huge time skip. Um, he's probably much smarter than he was before. But as a kid, Nier was ridiculously smart. Like, it was ridiculous. Honestly, I don't even see how you can get much smarter than that. Because he figured out who Kira was back in the day when he was, like, literally, he was only, like, what was he, like, 10, 11 years old? Now, Tanaka, ho, 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 oh, man. He laid out the groundwork. He didn't want to get things started right away. He wanted to make a solid ultimate plan. Like, something that was irrefutably like indestructible this plan was undeniably brilliant okay this is why he would need two years at most to come up with something so that he wouldn't get caught despite not killing people he was in possession of the death note which made him a serious target um i mean obviously the cops would want to get their hands on that death note as soon as possible and since they've seen ryuk i mean it's no mistake they know that it's the very same Death Note that Light was using. I mean, it's really no surprise there. There are a certain few who can actually see Ryuk, and that is really that is really not shocking. Obviously, some of them are still alive. 
Honestly, those who are still alive can call themselves fortunate. They can call themselves lucky. Uh, they can call themselves anything because they were working on they were working on a legendary case. Okay, this case was like down in history as one of the biggest things ever, um, ever that the cops ever worked on. They weren't expecting something like this. And the fact that somebody else had possession of the Death Note, of course, they were gonna go crazy and try to get down to this uh, as quickly as possible because you know what if they decided you know oh what if this new owner is going to start killing off people no this was never tanaka's uh true aim his true aim is basically just to sell the death note and make some serious serious bank i mean it just started off as a joke that's what people thought people thought this was a joke but the fact that you know, all of this was just planned out so carefully. Like, it's hard for me to re-explain the plan. But you guys know, if you've read it, then you know. And I just want to get down to the point here. The point is that this is just so well written for 88 pages. That was something else. I really wanted to read some more. That I was so caught up into this. Like, this was so interesting. I really wanted more. Like, I really hope that Madhouse picks this up. Um, I, I really hope that this gets animated because this is brilliant so basically tanaka goes through with his two-year plan uh he tells ryuk uh to visit tv station and basically hold up a note specifying the details of the uh transaction the uh the bidding it was basically like hey how would you like to hold the absolute power of kira in your back pocket and of course the nations wasted no time. The governments wasted no time bidding. It started off as a little joke, and obviously it wasn't. And we got to the point where the government representatives, they wanted badly to get their hands on this weapon of mass destruction once held by Kira himself. Honestly, I couldn't help but laugh near the end because the United States wanted to buy it. And guess who shows up? The President of the United States of America, Donald Trump. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. And you know, these world governments are obviously lying. They're bullshitting, man. Like, they, they're offering this insane amount of money for this powerful weapon. But in reality, you know they're going to be using it. You know. You know they're going to be using it. They're like, we'll use it for peaceful ends. No. No, no. no there's no way. Once they get their hands on something like that, the world will never be the same, all right? Like, they're offering... Uh, it came to the point where China was offering a trillion dollars, all right? And then, of course, the uh, uh, American government, they offer two trillion. Two trillion dollars. That is a lot of money. That is ridiculous, bro. Bro! I mean, it makes sense. The, something like the Death Note? That is something... For that kind of money, that is definitely reasonable. Like, that... The Death Note has the power to change the world. But in all honesty, if you want my opinion, no human on Earth should be touching that thing. Nobody should be getting their grubby hands on it because in the end, somebody's going to be using it and people are going to die. Now, of course, you have all these interviewers asking, Mr. Prime Minister, is it possible to hold a summit of world leaders to ensure no country buys it? And then he says, he responds by saying this, this is probably the greatest response I've seen. He says, let's not kid ourselves with idealistic statements. We all know some government is going to end up with it. And whatever country says, don't buy it, will be the first to turn around and try. And then of course in the later points, like Nier is just enjoying the show. And he really wants to meet this guy too. He wants to meet this guy he's calling A. Kira. And yeah, of course, I mean, Nier uh, put up some really good points there. I mean, you can't really arrest some dude who's just trying to sell the Death Note. That's not how the system works. I mean, he's in possession of the Death Note, but what has he done? He hasn't really done anything. There's been no sign of anyone dying from a heart attack uh, of recent. No, no criminals have died from a heart attack. Uh, nothing like that. So you can't really arrest somebody who hasn't killed anybody. Like, all he's doing, he's basically putting it up online and just trying to get rid of the damn thing. He doesn't want anything to do with it. Tanaka doesn't really kill people. He doesn't kill people, period. He's a nice kid. He just wants to get some money. And what he does at the end is even sweeter than I ever imagined. His plan pays off, but there is a huge downside.
His plan was simple. His plan was to put up the death note for auction via the TV station to avoid getting caught online on the internet because, you know, the internet is a dangerous place. He'd get caught immediately. He'd be traced and he'd be finished. That would be it. So he sends Ryuk off to the TV station every now and then with a piece of paper with some writing on it saying how things will go down. Uh, basically a couple updates. And eventually reach the point where world leaders would want the Death Note and put up a handsome, handsome price for the Death Note. And it pays off. America tries to buy the Death Note for a quadrillion, a quadrillion dollars. Totally unexpected. What the next update says after, after the auction is finished, after the bidding is finished. The money from the winning bid should be deposited by May 27th of this year in equal amounts to every person with a Yotsuba Bank of Japan savings account and registered residents in Tokyo aged 60 and under as of the date of May 24th, 2019. That, I, I couldn't even wrap my mind around how brilliant that is because even with like a billion dollars, uh, a billion yen, sorry, you're still pretty much set for life. You are set. You have serious bank. And everyone, everybody wins. Everybody wins. At least in Japan. Like that is just... You have people running to the bank. Like everybody's running, man. Everybody's just going nuts. And Kira's name is just being cheered in every single area. Like it, it's just ridiculous. And like, honestly, since he did that, they have no way of tracing this dude. They have no way. Even L is at a loss. Like, he's just, he's just speechless. He said that he admits defeat. And I had never thought I'd see the day where L would say that. That is just, oh my god. For a one shot, that was just so good. That is an absolute 10. That is a solid 10. Like, I don't care how you feel about his design. But honestly, at the end of the day, you have to say that this is a 10. Like, this was this was just so good. That was an absolute win. But of course, there was one downside. And it was a huge downside. After all was said and done, he, he got his money. Um, obviously, he couldn't access it for like a month. But he told Ryuk to just buzz off. He was done uh, with everything. Uh, basically, it all came down to money. He didn't want to kill anybody, um, so he benefited, but he didn't really get a chance to use the money because he died. Yeah, quite the plot twist because the Shinigami King was pretty pissed at how the Death Note was being handled in the human world. And Ryuk got an earful, like he got an earful from the Shinigami King himself. He summoned his ass to the Shinigami realm just so he could yell at him and add a new rule. So, as the rule states... I honestly can't remember if I mentioned this recently uh, within the review here, but I'm going to say it. A human who buys or sells the death note in the human world will die. The seller will die when they receive the money, and the buyer will die when they receive the death note. And Donald Trump was just like, hell no, I ain't, I ain't getting that. I ain't touching that. Keep that away from me. You ain't gonna, You ain't going to buy it now. And Ryuk's just sitting there like, so you value your life over your country. And he's just sitting there like, typical humans, man. Like, oh my god. Like, I don't think Ryuk's even surprised. And, you know, Tanaka's just like, don't ever show your face around me again for any reason. Because once he loses possession of the Death Note, which was the deal, um, after getting rid of the Death Note, he will lose all memories of what he has done. Uh, all memories of the Death Note, all memories of Ryuk. Um, everything will disappear. He will have no memory of anything. But, I mean, like, he, he benefits, his, his family benefits. His mom will get the money. Um, well, actually, I don't know if she's, like, listed as, like, uh, <laughs> as uh, someone who will get the money as, like, a hand-me-down in case he dies. Um, so that's, that's, like, one thing right there. She's his guardian. But did he make plans with the bank? I mean, he had a month's time to set all that up so if he was smart um i mean he didn't really expect to die that was one thing he didn't expect the new rule to just come in in place like that and hit like that um so i mean hopefully he was prepared 
if he wasn't, his family does not benefit, but the rest of Japan does. Honestly, I can't really say for sure if Tanaka is going to heaven or purgatory. It's hard to say, really. Um, but he did kind of abuse the Death Note. But that's not really abusing the Death Note. It was just given to him by Ryuk, who really in, just wanted to, you know, toy with the humans and get some apples. So I'm not really sure where Tanaka is going. It's hard to say. I'm pretty sure he's going to the good place. But at the same time, being killed off like that, I, it raises questions. His plan was absolutely flawless, but the only thing that screwed it up was the Shinigami King adding that new rule. So, in the end, he dies, and, I mean, Ryuk's the one who ends up writing his name in the Death Note, right under Light Yagami's name. Uh, and Ryuk's just sitting there wondering, oh, where am I going to get my apples from now? And is there anyone else who will actually use this thing for a bit longer? Like, it, it's just, and then it just ends off like that. And I'm just sitting here laughing. I'm just sitting here laughing. I was like, what a turn of events. I was not expecting that. Like, this this was a flawless plan, bro. And he just dies like that? Oh, my God. But in the end, people are cheering Kira's name. And they're all just rejoicing. They're all just happy that they got their money. Um, they can pay off debts. They can buy cars. They can do whatever. Like, the, they all benefit. But he dies. Um, I guess Kira died as a hero. I mean, they called him Kira, but he wasn't truly Kira because Kira was killing off criminals. He wasn't doing this for money. He was. Th these are two completely different things. And, I mean, Kira died before as a hero to some. And I, I guess that's... I don't know. I don't know what else to say. That was very enjoyable. Uh... It was a feast for my eyes, and probably many of yours as well. This is a solid 10. The Death Note one-shot, uh, complete success. This is amazing stuff. Um, I will leave a link in the description to where you can read it. And that about sums up my review. This is a 10 out of 10 one-shot. This was amazing. Thank you all so much for watching this review, and I will see you all next time.